Right, hello everybody again. Uh, in this video we're going to be doing a bit more recap on uh, formatting a website in HTML using CSS. And in this video we're just going to look at how to do a basic two column layout with a uh, header and a navbar. Uh, my son Ethan is here with me. Say hi Ethan. Hi. Thank you. And uh, he's going to sit in while I try and show you how to do this. So to start with, this is the layout we're going to be doing. And in terms of setting up, uh, if I can find a uh, notepad here. What I'm working on with is I've got a, an HTML file that I've saved as two columns.html and I've just put in the basic outline HTML tag. So you've got your HTML, uh, the head, the body, um, I've got page title and I've just linked to a style sheet and the style sheet we're going to be linking to I have called two column styles.css save that and my two column styles CSS file is blank right now. So let's just come back to our design. What am I doing here? Getting lost. There we are. So in our design, let's zoom out slightly, you can see um, the body, the background of the body there, that's our body tag, is going to be grey. And then we also have this great big rectangle that contains our whole site. Now that is what we're going to call our container. So that will be our main div tag. And within that div tag, you can see that we're going to have a header right there, that big rectangle there. And we're also going to have another one underneath it with a slightly darker red background, which is our navbar. And then below that, you can see we're going to have uh, two columns. We have our main content here, and then like a secondary content type in there. So I'm just going to call that main content. And this other one we might call like secondary content. So they're both sitting, I guess, inside that container. And uh, I'll tell you what we might do is we might just throw a footer down the bottom as well, just to give our page a nice ending point. So there's quite a lot of code to put in here, so let's get the layout right to start with. So here's our body tag. Now inside that, so I'll tab in, is my first div tag. Remembering that div tags are of the page elements we use for layout. And my class, which is the name of this div tag, is container. Remember that, Ethan? Okay, and then within the container we had several tags. So my first one was header. So, oops, so there's my div, and the class is going to be header. And the space. Then the next one below that was our navbar. So there's my div tag with a class of nav. And that's going to have a few links in it. Oh, I see you have, and I need to put a speech back there. there we go. Um, and below our navbar, we now have our main content, our secondary content, and our footer. So, there we go. Class equals main content. Put some space. Then we have our secondary content. And last but not least, down the bottom here, we have our div tag, which has a class of footer. So we try to name these classes in a way that actually I guess, illustrates what is going to be placed into that area. Okay, so I'll save that. So now we're just going to try and get this layout and stuff right. So I'm just going to first come in here, and um, I'm just going to uh, set all our margins and padding uh, to zero. So I'm just going to use the asterisk for that and we put a curly brace and I'm just going to set the padding to 0 pixels for everything and the margin to 0 pixels. So that just pretty much overrides any presets that we've got with any of these HTML tags. And then the second thing I want to do is set the background colour for that body tag. By default it's white. So we'll just start typing and again Notepad helps us out here a bit. And I'll now just look for a grey. So I'll just go to my colour picker here courtesy of Google and find some sort of grey that will work for us. C E C C C C. Chuck that hexadecimal code in there. I'll just save that and double check that that is actually doing its job. So uh, where am I going here? Look, wrong program. Alright. Uh, here we are in Notepad. If I run this and launch it in Chrome, there we go, we've got our grey background. Right, 
So our next step is to format each of these div tags. So I'm just going to format the class of what do we call it container, the first one. And uh, again, I'm just going to set that one with a background color of white. So that's uh, if 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 if. I'm going to give it a minimum height of around about 800 pixels. That should be more than enough. A width of I'm going to go with a thousand, but you may find that looks a bit small on your screen. You might want to make it a bit bigger. And remember to get that sitting nicely in the middle. I'm going to set the left and right margins to auto, and that will make the browser cut open for us. So it's it nicely. Okay, just double check that that works. Test as we go. Excellent. Next step is do the header. So that's a class. So full stop and header. And we're just going to set a height, I'll put that one about 200 pixels, give it a width of about 1000, and a background colour. Now from memory, oops, no you there, American spelling. From memory it was pretty red in our design. Yep, so we'll go with full red. Full red, no green or blue. That should look pretty distressing. And next one was the nav bar. So here we go. We'll just Whip down here, and uh, I just give that a very small height, like about 40 pixels, um, a width of about a thousand, and a background colour of probably something slightly nicer than that bright, vibrant red we've got for our header. So let's go to our colour picker again, find a red that's there, go, that'll work, it's a bit nicer, and we'll pop that in here. So let's just go back and now check and see how we're getting on. There we are, we've got our header and navbar. So the next thing now, and this is what this video is primarily about, is how do we get multiple columns? So we're going to have to format them both. So we've got our main content. And what we're going to look at doing here is we want to set a, um, a width. So remember the combined width is 1000. So I'm going to make this one 700 pixels wide. And I'm going to make the secondary content uh, equal to 300 pixels, so we get a nice sum, they, they add up to, to each other. And um, what we want to do is we want them to sit side by side rather than one below the other because by default HTML tags do go down the page. So in this case here I'm going to use the float uh, attribute. Now if I float this to the left, this div tag will go as far left as it possibly can. And similarly I can do that with secondary content, so I could say float to the right, or I could float to the left, it doesn't really matter. If I float it to the left, it will just ram up against the main content. If I float it to the right, it will just ram up against the right edge. So I'm just going to float it right, because why not? Now right now, because there's no content in there, uh, this is not going to change the appearance of the site. So what we'll do is we'll just come in here and we're just going to stick in a little bit of content into each of those. So I'll just duck out to the Laura Mipsum site again. Um, generated some here already, so I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to put that into my main content area. Oops. Yeah, it's a great big paragraph. I might actually split that one as well into a couple of paragraphs. Um, there we are there. And in my secondary content, I might just grab a little bit of text, so just like a couple of lines or something small. So there it is there, paragraph. Okay, so we should have now some content in our left hand, the main content, and something in our secondary content. So here we are here. And there you go, now you can see there's my left hand sitting on the left, and there's my secondary content sitting over on the right. So what we need to do, you can see the text runs up against each other, it's right up against the edge. So that is, does Ethan remember what that's called? That would be a no. Uh, that's called padding. So I'm going to put some padding all around each of these sections. So in our style sheet and the main content, I'm going to put padding. Now I'm not just going to put it left and right, I'm going to put it all around so I can just literally type the word padding. If I put 20 pixels there, that's going to add 20 pixels to the left, to the right, to the top and to the bottom. What that means is it's effectively adding 40 pixels of width. So to keep this at 700 wide, I need to change that to 660. So that 660 now um, is the width of the content in there, plus it has an extra 20 pixels of padding on either side. 
And I'm going to do the same. Ooh, should I do the same down there? Let's have a look. Let's test that and see what it looks like. Not too bad. So let's try the same thing over there. So we're going to say, let's make our padding 20 pixels, which means we have to decrease our width by 40. And test that. And there we have our two column layout. I have not done any formatting on these fonts or paragraphs, they look dreadful, but that's okay. Uh, and the last step, let's just put a footer down the bottom there somewhere. Um, so let's go format the footer. And I'm going to set the width as being a thousand pixels. The height has been, once I spell that right, height has been maybe uh, 60 pixels. And we'll give it a background color of. Oh, that nav bar colour was quite nice, so we'll still have Now something interesting is going to happen here though when we try and preview this. Um, you can see that the footer has jumped up here. Now the reason for that, let's jump up the top here, is because it's still trying to float. Once we start floating elements, HTML has this crazy idea that you want everything to keep floating. So what we need to do is actually clear both the left and the right floats. And now when I refresh that, HTML has been told, don't float anymore, that's ridiculous. Go back down the page, and there's our footer. And obviously um, the minimum height of my container was far too much. So if I find my container, I'm just going to drop that right down to about 500. And that looks a little bit better. Not perfect, but it will do. So that's just a really quick video on, again, formatting a layout in HTML using CSS how to do a two column layout and uh, next time what I'll do is I will come back and I'll show you how to format some links and we'll put them in there and make our links look very pretty.